Hello, my name is Blue Biscuits, and today I'm going to try and show you guys how I paint. Um, this is one of my first tutorials, so I hope I make sense, and I hope you guys enjoy and are able to learn something. All the brushes are in the description. My art program that I'm using is Pencil Sai, and that's all. So I hope you guys enjoy. First thing I'm going to show you guys is some of the brushes I use and some of the techniques I use with the brushes. So I have my base color over here, which is this pink, and I'm going to add shading to it, like so. This is just for an example. Now with my Yuki brush, I use the density a lot, so I'll pull down the density. So to add like the colors and bases, I'd normally have it like at 95 to 100%. And I'll have this either here or here. This is like medium soft, I guess. Hold on. Yeah, this is medium soft, so it has a bit of a blur, which is, <coughs> which is the color picker up here. Then I pick the, the base color and I lightly go over it with my density pulled down to 75. Then I choose my color picker again and I pick this color and I work it in. It's mostly just going over and over until you have like a blended. Okay, so the next brush I'm going to show you guys is my G brush, which is just the default pencil side brush. Uh, I use this one mostly for adding ha like harder stuff, it's like a base color or um, if I have forgotten to add something in the drawing, I would use this brush. So like if I want to add ears here, or like horns or whatever these are <laughs> then I'll add it and maybe clean it up if like so uh, it's mostly just a default brush which I use for a lot of things also if I want to add like hair or fur I would use this so that it doesn't blur too much the final brush I'm going to show you guys is my water or blending brush I use this for blending if I want hardcore blending or like if I want to blend stuff in. Uh, yeah, you know that you guys know what blending is. <laughs> Sorry. So, yep, and that's all the brushes that I use. And I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the tutorial. Also, something I forgot to mention is my Yuki brush is my painting brush, which I use for everything like line art, sketch base colors and shading. As you guys can tell I have already sketched out my drawing and I'm happy with how the sketch looks. Now I'm just gonna add base colors and my shading colors. Uh, I might make a tutorial on how I pick colors but maybe in the future when I'm a bit used to actually talking to myself in my room all alone. <laughs> I'm not too worried about getting everything perfect right now because I know I can just change it if I don't like it. I am just trying to get the color, I'm just making sure that the colors suit well and they work well together. I thought my drawings a lot to make sure I'm not making any mistakes. Yep, still playing around with colors. <laughs> Ooh, this is gonna take a while. Okay, so once I'm happy with all my colors and I like the way everything looks, I merge my layers downwards into one layer and then I start rendering. So then I use the same technique that I showed you guys in the beginning with my painting brush. I select a color with the color picker and then I just render away, you know, cleaning up, adding things that I think would look good. Also use the overlay set to help blend stuff in that looks unnatural. And that's basically all I do. So there's a few more things that I would like to show you guys that I do. Not to show you guys, but like explain. So I tend to 
Um, now these are just my opinions and like what I like to do. When I'm painting I enjoy putting more detail into the places like faces and eyes rather than around places. So like there will be more detail in the front of Bokugo's head and by his face rather than the back of his head or the flowers further from his face. I don't know if that makes sense. <laughs> Uh, also throughout the drawing I would add some, thi add some things and remove it, just testing around like I did with his mask at a point. And then I also do with the flowers. I do that by making a new layer and then testing if I like the way I've just changed it. If I like it then I root it down, if I don't then I just get rid of it. Um, let's see anything else. Uh, no, that's about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the speed paint and I hope this tutorial helps a little bit, even though I am shit at explaining. <laughs> yes.
made it to the end of the video thank you so much for watching i hope you were able to learn something with my tutorial uh, if not then i'm sorry <laughs> anyways thank you for watching bye